All right, guys, so you are inside the barrel of a De Marini Gattaca right now. What up, what up? It's Will and JT here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And today we got another BB Quarter review for you guys. Here we got the De Marini Gattaca, a new bat from De Marini for 2020. Basically like a De Marini Voodoo with some crazy technology to it. Let's check it out. Alrighty guys, here's a closer look at the 2020 De Marini Gattaca. Uh, so uh, first some specs here. We've got a composite handle uh, alloy barrel. This is gonna be a two piece hybrid. Uh, something extremely different on this bat is there's an adjustable knob where you can actually like bring the knob up like you're choking up. Uh, we'll get into that a bit. And then there's some crazy technology on the barrel. There's actually like a window inside the end cap and we'll get into that as well we have two different versions here actually there's the 33 and the 34 and they're actually uh, weighted and shaped a bit different so first you have the 33 on the bottom here uh, this is basically like a version of the voodoo balance it's going to be that wider swinging a bit shorter barrel um version of the Voodoo that a few years ago they split it into Voodoo Balance and Voodoo Insane and the 34 is going to use that Voodoo Insane barrel. So this is going to be a big, it's going to be a longer bat and a bigger and more end loaded barrel. Uh, so this is going to be like more your college hitter bat up top, the 34, and then you've got the, uh, the 33 that's going to be more of a high school hitter bat, kind of more in that contact hitter range. And then you'll see LH, guys, there's a lot going on here. Uh, I'm trying to be quick, but this is only the lefty version. There's also a right-handed hitter version, and I'll tell you why. All right, so the idea of the Gattaca is that they actually have like these grooves carved into the inside of the aluminum barrel, and, and they claim that when you hit the ball, those grooves can actually help increase your launch angle. So whereas like if you hit a ball straight away, say with like a regular Voodoo, with a regular alloy barrel, that ball is going to go flat, right? If you completely square it up and you have a flat swing, the ball is just going to go straight. Whereas this is actually going to add a couple degrees of launch angle to your ball. So those grooves are meant to help kind of like spin the ball upwards a tiny bit. And there's actually a window here where you can kind of see. Let's see if we can get in there. All right, let's try this. All right, guys, so you are inside the barrel of a De Marini Gattaca right now. This is nuts. So you can see at the bottom there, that's the restrictor ring. That's going to be in a lot of a BB core bats. It's just uh, what you have to do to get the barrel to kind of be dumbed down to make it okay for BB core restrictions. But you can see those grooves there. See those lines around the inside of the barrel? Those are the grooves that De Marini claims is meant to increase the launch angle when you hit the ball. And it's supposed to kind of help boost the ball upwards instead of just staying flat. And you guys have probably seen a lot of talk about like launch angle over these last couple of years, right? And the idea there is, I mean, if you get it above the infielders where there's five defenders, um, including, you know, the catcher, you got six, and get into the outfield where there's a lot more green grass and only three defenders, you're going to get a lot more chances at extra base hits. And then also you're going to hit a lot more home runs, right? You can't hit a home run if you hit the ball flat. Uh, if you're a strong guy, you want to be hitting the ball up so you get, the, uh, get a chance of hitting the ball out of the yard. And guys, like I said earlier, there's actually a lefty and a righty version of this bat. The lefty version has this blue striping. The righty version has the red striping. But the reason is because the grooves in the barrel, they're not just flat. Because when the bat is in the zone hitting, it's not like flat like this. It's angled down a bit, right? So they're angled like this. So that when you're at this, this hitting position, it can angle the ball up a little bit more. As a righty, that's going to be not the right angle anymore. That's going to like, if anything, make you roll over balls. Uh, so the righty version has grooves going in the opposite direction, essentially. That's why there's a lefty and a righty bat. If you're a switch hitter, you got to buy two of these. All right, guys, and a last thing to go over about this Gattaca. We have, they call it the adjustable on-demand knob. This thing, I've never seen anything like this. So you can see it's like 33, 32 and a half, and 32 there. You can literally click this thing into place and bring it down an inch. So instead of choking up, you can just make the knob shorter. So now all of a sudden I'm swinging like, a 3230 <laughs> drop two. Um, I don't know if I would use that personally. We'll have to see how it feels when we're hitting. Uh, initially, I think it feels kind of funky to have this big piece here when you're hitting, but I'll let, let you guys know if we don't like it, we'll even tape it up to see if um, we'd prefer it without it. All right, so we're gonna tell you guys if we really feel like this Gattaca technology, again, those crazy grooves inside the barrel right there, actually, uh, if we feel like it actually helps us hit the ball in the air more often, if it helps us hit some bombs, if we notice any difference at all, or at the very least, I mean, is this a solid bat? Um, we haven't really done a video lately on the De Marini Voodoo, so we just want to check out the barrel response, the weighting on this thing, how that uh, handle feels, and uh, let's check this guy out. Get that 
good? Yep. Oh. Damn, that was, that was so a nuke. I actually kind of felt that. Interesting. Maybe, maybe. All right, guys, the verdict on the knob. Uh, we honestly hate this little this little adjusting piece. John said it was like pinching his finger. It hurts. <laughs> it freaking hurts, <laughs> and it really gets in the way. Uh, I wish this was just a regular knob. We're going to tape up the 34 version to see if we like just like a taped up standard version of it better. All right, we taped up the knob. I think I like this one a lot better. Yo! <laughs> you almost hit a tennis player, dude. Dude, I put it on their <laughs> I put it on their game. <laughs> or their match, sorry. Sorry, tennis players. <laughs> sorry! That was a nuke. Okay. Oh. See ya. Uh, <laughs> did he see that shoot off? It hit a rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What a nice warm up swing. <laughs> oh. It might be tennis courts, boys. Ah, it's out for the wall. All right, guys, and because this is YouTube and I want to have a little bit of fun, I want to see what happens when we hit right-handed with the left-handed bat. I want to see if it messes it up at all. Oh, that, that went lower than I thought it should have. Oh, that might go. Ah, oh, it's off of the wall. Yo, Will, what do you think of the DeMarini Gattaca? Alrighty, the Gattaca, the lefty version that we illegally hit right-handed with. Uh, so for the most part, I really like this bat. A decent amount of flex in the handle, a bit more than I usually prefer, uh, but especially this 34 inch barrel made up for it. This thing was really gas, hit the ball a long ways. Uh, there's one thing I wanna point out though, like just some constructive criticism about uh, how these are set up. So uh, if, if like I'm getting a bat where I want to increase my launch angle, I want to hit the ball to the outfield more often. I want to get more backspin on the ball, hopefully getting the ball to carry out of the yard a bit, a little bit. I mean, hopefully I'm already swinging a pretty end loaded bat, right? And that's why I really like this 34 Voodoo Insane barrel. That's going to be that end loaded big barrel version already meant for a power hitter. And they just add some technology that can help add elevation and height to your ball and add some backspin that can help you maximize your power hitting game. Whereas this 33, that's going to be the Voodoo Balance barrel. In my opinion, the Voodoo Balance is a bit more of a contact hitter's bat. Pretty dang light swinging, really forgiving, uh, pretty bendy, and some pretty moderate pop in my opinion. If you're going to add backspin technology and like launch angle elevation technology technology to a bat, I'd rather have it be on a bat like the goods, uh, an end loaded bat where a, there's already a power hitter that's wanting to hit home runs with it. Whereas this I would see is more of a contact hitter bat and I want to control the barrel and punch the ball through gaps a bit more. So that's my, that's my only thought there. If this was an end loaded version, if this was like the Voodoo Insane or the goods with this technology, I'd really like it. And then last thing, we got beef with the knob. Um, I actually heard that they might be getting rid of this. Uh, if they do, that'd be sick. This is definitely a bat to consider, especially the 34. The 34 version of this, I liked a lot better. Really good bat. Uh, but just this knob would prevent me from buying this bat right now. Alrighty, JT. So the DeMarini Gattaca. So uh, first, just pretend some of this technology wasn't there. So like the, the barrel, like spin rate technology, launch angle technology, the funky knob. Pretend that didn't exist. Just overall, you're blindfolded. You're hitting with this bat. How do you like the performance? How do you feel like you hit with it? Um, yeah, what are your overall thoughts? Uh, I really like these bats, especially the big bat. The, <laughs> the 34, Insane, yeah, his yeah. nukes, dude. Because I, I swung Voodoo and Sands in the goods, and I, I really like this type of bat. And once we put the tape on the knob, I really started being able to whip it through, and I like this bat a lot. 
All right, and the main question in this video, the question everyone's dying to know, do you feel like the technology in the barrel, those grooved mm -hmm. barrel lines that, that we saw inside of the end cap there, do you feel like that made a difference? Do you feel like you noticed a difference in your launch angle at all? Like slightly, maybe. Yeah. It might be placebo just because I think, you know, the technology works, but I hit somewhere, I thought it was just a top spinner, but it stayed up through the infield. And all right. I, I had some tanks with this. I, I like this bat, it was cool. All right, guys, there you have it, the DeMarini Gattaca. Uh, I do think they're going to be coming back with this again next year. Uh, we really like the 34 uh, bigger and loaded version. Uh, I definitely recommend that if you're going to go with the Gattaca. Uh, if, if you're going to go with a 33 and you want a bat that hits bombs, I just go with the goods, honestly. I think it's a lot better bat. I just think the weighting and the barrel size on it is a lot better, and it's going to be quite a bit stiffer. Uh, the one other thing I just didn't love so much about these bats was how flexy the handle was. Uh, but, I mean, other than that, really good barrel response, especially on the 34 epic sweet spot and guys gotta give it credit these look sick and then having the freaking window on the end of the bat there like you don't you don't get that much this is a gnarly looking bat um again 33 is going to be a really good all-around bat 34 is going to be a sick power bat uh guys thanks for hanging out today a uh, fun video to make uh, really cool bats from Dean marini uh, you can check us out on social media on instagram twitter and tiktok at baseball bat bros i think we got a few shirts left in the merch store too uh at baseballbatbros.com you can check out those long sleeve black tees and guys hybrid bat madness is coming soon stay tuned follow our instagram page we'll keep you updated